I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack. Your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix, everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Hawkman Found Issue Number One, another tie into Dark Knight's Metal. Whatever became of superhero and super explorer Carter Hall after getting lost in the Dark Universe? Well, let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? Alrighty then, so as the comic opens up, we check on in with a very haggard Carter. He has no idea how long he's been stuck in the Dark Universe, and every night he has the same dream of sprouting wings and escaping only to fall back down to Earth. Carter, as we discover, isn't alone here. This place is some sort of strange prison camp where every night horrible bird creatures descend from the sky and pick a new prisoner to bring back to their ship. Only these other prisoners aren't just anybody, they're Carter himself. Well, different aspects of his personality, different lives he's lived, different reincarnations. We see Prince Khufu, we see space cop Carter Hall. The gang is basically all here, and if you Love that abstract idea, strap on in because it's basically the whole comic. We discover that Carter originally got stuck in this place while looking for Challenger's Mountain. He didn't find it, but he did end up stumbling upon the Great Forge of Worlds. He had hoped to pick up the Hammer of Creation for himself and keep it safe from the evil influence of Barbatos, but well, we all know what happened then, didn't we? Hawkman decides that he's pretty sick of this situation and as such decides to scale a mountain, get aboard the Bird People's ship and escape, all the while wrestling with himself over what is real in his life, what is fantasy, what's an implanted memory, what's a reincarnation, etc, etc, basic Hawkman stuff. Our hero only really starts to get back to himself when he sneaks aboard the alien ship and finds the armory. There he dons his classic mask, picks up a mace very much like his own mace, before finally coming under attack by another more evil looking Hawkman. They battle for a bit back and forth, they shoot the breeze, and eventually we find out that none of this is real and that this is all some sort of projection of what's going on in Carter's mind right now. Well, duh, I didn't need you to tell me that, I already picked that up. Hawkman's only able to power through against this foe when he brings up up Kendra. Oh, his love, the hawk woman, who he wants so badly to return to. He overcomes his foe, steals the wing set, and very heroically makes a go of trying to fly out of this prison and out of the dark universe. Only his wings begin to fail him, and he falls back down to Earth, much like he did in his dream in the beginning of the comic, going to show that he's been doing this pretty much over and over again in his own mind, and that while this is going on, his real body out in the physical universe has become the evil protector of the World Forge. And yeah, that's basically where the comic ends. That was Hawkman Found, everybody, and overall it was decent enough, but I don't think I'm gonna blow anyone's mind when I say this is probably the most inconsequential tie into Dark Knight's Metal yet. Shame, too, as up until now all the other issues in Dark Knight's Metal have done a great job talking up Carter Hall and Hawkman as being this big, important, central character to these goings-on. Only for us to pick up and read a solo story starring him, and it's, well, basically more of the same Hawkman stuff you either know and like or don't at this point. There definitely seems to be a lot of work going in here to try and give Hawkman a blank slate. They spend a good chunk of the issue saying, hey, it doesn't matter what version of Hawkman you've read before, it doesn't matter because we're basically doing our own thing now. Which is fine, maybe even necessary, it just lacked a lot of the oomph that I was hoping to get from it. Not bad though by any stretch of the imagination, overall I'd feel comfortable giving this one a 7 out of 10. So that's Hawkman everyone, I hope you enjoyed it and as always be sure to take a look at some of these other videos I've been working working on, then you can follow me on Twitter at Cape Joel so you always know what videos I got coming out next. And hey, if you like what I do, want to support me, and want to get exclusive access to videos and podcasts before anyone else, you might want to follow that Patreon link down in the description. Patrons can do all of this and more for only a dollar a month. And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye